Okay, let's try this dude out. Slide it in the entrance. And I do not see anything there. Found him. You can see the bees up there. See if we can adjust the light. See what that does. There's the light off. That must be at our brightest point right there. It's pretty cool to be able to uh, peek in there at them. Pretty darn cool. And I didn't have to disturb them at all to be able to go in there and see what the bees are up to. Those cells that they're around look awful empty. That's a little bit concerning to me. And since we got this warmer weather, I need to do something about that. So let's see what else we can do with this real unique tool that we now have it. Another idea that I have here is that you could use this to inspect for pests on the bottom of your bottom board. Um, you could take this camera, you can stick it down underneath the colony, and by articulating it back and forth, you can get to where you can inspect the bottom of your colony and you don't have to lay on the ground anymore. Maybe you've got ants up there and you want to see how they're getting in or what the problem is. You don't have to lay on the ground anymore to do that with one of these cameras. And I think that's pretty darn cool. I know at my age, I don't like laying on the ground anymore and I have to. Um, so I can see this as a, as a big benefit. Another really good idea I think that this could be handy for is a lot of our extractors either they either have a bearing down here underneath this center support or they have a love joy bushing and uh, this particular one has a love joy bushing and to inspect that I need to remove these two nuts and the two nuts at the other end of this bracket and that's kind of cumbersome so by using my Vever articulating endoscope what we can do is we can use this camera to go down here and inspect our love joy and in which case the bushing looks like it's in pretty good condition looking at the screen here now if we uh, let me see if I can do it if I can hold the screen and turn this so we can inspect it all the way around we can see everything looks good we don't see any problems from this point and therefore there's no reason to take this off and we did all that within about 30 seconds. All right, don't tell me you've never lost your hive tool and you wonder if it's under your seat. Real simple way to look. We can take our endoscope and we can slide it right up under the framework of the seat and looky there. That looks like the frame lifting end of my hive tool. Let's move it around a little bit here and take a another look yeah that's definitely my hive tool right there so now all Vever needs to do is add a magnet to the end of this so I could just pull it right out pretty cool little trick though that could save me a lot of time when it's time to hunt for my hive tool all with this and God only knows what else you'll find up underneath your seats so the Vever articulating endoscope. I'm pretty impressed with it. The clarity of the screen, once you get the camera within an inch or so, is just amazing. Maybe a couple inches. Um, yeah, it's, it has a lot of different features. I like that it's pretty much plug and play. You can slide the head unit onto the handle with ease and it's ready to rock. The other thing I liked is, is that it came with the 32 gig SD card already installed and the battery was charged, it was ready to go. How many electronics do you get today that um, are ready to go when you get them? Not very many. And it's real easy to use. You can articulate the camera by simply turning this little um, handle here on the, on the unit. And you can adjust the light settings by pressing the light button. You can take a snapshot by pressing the camera picture. Or you can record if you hold it down for a second. So it's got a lot of pretty cool features now the one thing I did do to I guess 
make it a little easier to know which way is up and which way is down. As hopefully the camera will pick this up, I took my clean marking pen and put yellow dots and a straight line down the length of the cable. Now what I'm thinking about doing is taking a step further and just making them dots a yellow line. And then when I stick it in, I know which way is top. Now, it's not that crucial, I guess, because you do have the option here on the top of the screen to flip the screen until you get to where it's level or straight up and down, but it seemed more convenient to me to have the cable marked. So I'm gonna leave you a discount code down below if you would like to check out the Vever articulating endoscope and uh, this discount will save you a few bucks and uh, I think that's something we're all interested in in today's world so saving a few bucks is a good thing so thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video make sure to smash the thumbs up and uh, you know I try and give honest reviews I know there's a lot of people that's probably getting uh, burnout out on the reviews but I hope there's some people that appreciate my perspective on things and the way I share my reviews um, I'm trying not to overwhelm the majority of my subscribers with review videos but here recently you know it's been cold it's winter and there's not a whole lot of B content videos I could be making so um, anyway folks just wanted to give that little in piece of insight to everybody and uh, we'll see you Sunday in my video thanks for watching <laughs>